So we are out at the leak patch and we are going to do some uh, do some leak picking. So just to give you an idea what the leak looks like, ramp, wild onion, whatever, in the ground. So if you see those leaves right there going on the ground, see all that? You can see all of this. And it just goes about a half mile out that way. And it, this patch starts about a half mile that way. And goes about another mile that way. It's a huge, huge patch of ramp. So, pretty freaking cool. Big or small, I'm taking them. Yep. All right, gang. So that's what it looks like right there. When you pull out of the ground, it looks like a wild onion. size of that bulb guys that's big lots of years I only get them are about the size of this one right here but this is beautiful that's beautiful oh them are better oh, these are good too hey eh? not too bad yeah, yeah nice nice you can smell them out here hey yeah yeah you literally can because even when you're just walking you're not picking you can smell them there's some smaller ones, guys, right there. How much are you planning on getting, you think? Well, I'll try to probably get at least a couple bags worth, Walmart bags worth here, whatever, whatever bags these are. I'm going to get as much as I can, I think. Yeah, we'll do the mixture, we'll do soups, eh? Oh, tomato leek, or a potato leek soup, oh my gosh. Yep. Wonderful. Yeah, see guys, with these things here, we can uh, make a leek potato soup. We uh, freeze a fair amount of them as well, and then I make that stuff that you see me put on sandwiches once in a while. It's like a relish type of thing. We call it mixture. Um, but we've been doing that for years. But anyways, I'm going to keep, keep keep picking and we'll bring you guys back after a while. Maybe. <laughs> the picking's good, guys. The picking is really good. All right, guys. So one thing I want to show you. Like you can you pick them out of ground just like you would an onion. Get the dirt off it. Get the stem off it. I'm telling you, oh, they're wonderful. They got a little bit of a, a little bit of heat to them. They kind of like a, I would say a mix between garlic and onion. And uh, it was funny, back over in school, my cousin, put old picking one time. So we've been doing this a long time. I was, we were in teenage years, maybe, maybe even preteens. No, teenage years, and. Uh, my cousin ate too much of them while well, leek picking. And uh, it's the next day it came out of his pores. Smelt like a garbage can. The school sent him home because he stunk so bad. <laughs> so you definitely don't want to eat too many of them unless you want to keep people away from you. 
but they are so so tasty so tasty all right guys we'll bring you back after a while all right gang that looks like some pretty good stems that looks like a big bulb right there let's see what matt digs out the ground here ready yeah it's part of a rope right now but let's see right here oh, oh look at that guy oh my gosh that's the biggest one i ever saw oh that is beautiful right Just, there nice that's that's the biggest <laughs> one I, yeah i think that's the biggest one i've ever saw too it's almost like gold mining guys <laughs> find a big old nuggie <laughs> how can this be so much damn fun i know right <laughs> oh look at the bugs i don't know if you guys can see the bugs on the camera there but yeah we got the permethrin on and some on the clothing and the really good bug spray on the rest of the body and they're flying around us but they're not killing us but if you can see it on camera, I don't know if you can see it there. They are thick. Oh gang, I got my two bags on there. Matt's got a bag there. He got a bag in his hands there. So, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, there you go. All right gang, that's my pile. That's gotta get processed. Come over here. And that's Matt's pile that's got to get processed. So that'll be our next step, gang. All right, gang, we're going we're gonna to do a little processing. Do a little processing of these leak here. So basically what you do, you take your bulb, you peel the dirt back, cut off the root, cut off the leaf, you left with that, you left with the bulb. That's what it's all about. My knife's bigger than your knife. Mine's tiny. It's clean. So do you know who's in the house here? That's Matt's stuff over there. Okay. This is mine over here. Okay, so that's it. It's yours Because I'm kind of like in between both of you. So okay. if you want to just, I'm going to grab the bunch of them. Yeah, that's right. At the, end of, at, at the end of the day, we'll attack everybody's stuff, yeah. so everybody gets... Yeah. Not a big deal. No. This is right. This is what looks like all opportunity. Okay, oh, guys, Yes, they do, brother. Yes, they do. So where are you putting your scraps? On the ground. Okay. We'll pick them up later. Oh, look at this one. Then, guys, after we get the roots off and get the leaves off, then we rinse them. And then from there, whatever, however you want to process them from there. So. That's the basics. The basics to taking care of your ramp, leek, wild leek, or some people call it wild onion. So it turns into a kind of a full day because you gotta get out to the leek patch, you gotta pick them. And you gotta come home, root them, stem them. Or root them and leave them and then you gotta clean them and then finish processing them whatever you're gonna do whether it's grind them up for the freezer or sometimes you can save the bulbs for the freezer as well and we also make that mixture relish stuff I've showed you guys uh, in different videos so all right well, we're gonna just hammer down some cleaning you yeah you can also um, freeze the leaves yeah, that's how I yeah, explain yeah. it. Oh, did you, you call them that? Okay. When you're out, you can freeze leaves, or like like Jay does, I sit out in the leak patch, she dehydrates them, grinds them up, and uses them in seasoning for that way. So the whole uh, plant is usable. So, all right, gang. We'll talk to you after a while. All right, gang, just so you can see what the... Once we have them leaved and cleaned up, we're still going to wash them and then we'll be processing them into some different 
situations. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right, gang. I just wanted to show you finished product here. What it looks like. So you've seen this before on the channel. I use it on burgers and different things like that. Matt and Mom are in the process of just cleaning up right now, and uh, you guys can get a commercial version of this product called Rosie's Relza. I'll put a link below for it. Um, my mom actually has a commercial version of this, which is very wonderful as well. So if you want to check that out. But this is the uh, home product. Oh, look at this. Mother got me. This is my mother. And this is her product, which started out the non-commercial side. She was able to create a recipe on the commercial side. Rosie's Relza. You guys go to rosiesfood.com. I'll put a link below and uh, you can check it out. But yeah, this is what we created many, many years ago. Okay. Anyways, you guys, thanks for coming along on this adventure. Uh, fun to have you along. Look forward to seeing you on the next.